Guam, an island overrun by spiders and snakes, Guam, a remote island in the Western Pacific, is facing a unique ecological crisis. With a population of invasive snakes and an abundance of spiders, the island has become a striking example of the destructive power of introduced species. These invaders have transformed Guam's ecosystems, displacing native wildlife and dramatically altering the island's natural balance. Invasive brown tree snakes, introduced to Guam in the 1940s, have wreaked havoc on the island's bird populations. These snakes, likely stowing away on cargo ships, quickly became a dominant force in Guam's ecology. Within four decades of their arrival, they eradicated nearly all of the island's native bird species. Out of the original 12 bird species, only two survive today, clinging to remote caves and urban areas, brown tree snakes are relentless hunters. With a population of around 2 million on the island, these snakes will devour anything they can catch, including small mammals, lizards, other snakes, and even human food. Henry Pollock, executive director of the Southern Plains Land Trust, describes them as voracious and notes they will even consume one another. These snakes can consume prey as large as 70% of their body weight, akin to a 130-pound person eating a small kangaroo. What makes the brown tree snake particularly menacing is its ability to climb. In 2021, researchers from the University of Colorado discovered a new climbing technique employed by these snakes. Called noose climbing. This technique allows them to wrap around cylindrical objects, hook their tails around their heads, and swing like humans climbing trees. To protect the few remaining native birds, conservationists have installed snake-proof nest boxes and smooth metal poles that are too difficult for the snakes to scale. Despite numerous efforts by conservationists to control the snake population, ranging from traps and poisons to experimental bioweapons, brown tree snakes continue to thrive on Guam. For decades, these efforts have failed to make a significant dent in the snake numbers, and the invasive species remain a persistent problem. While the brown tree snake is a major ecological threat, the island also faces an explosion of spider populations. Unlike other Mariana Islands, where spiders are relatively scarce in the wet season and abundant in the dry, Guam's spider population is constant year-round. The limestone forests of Guam are blanketed in spider webs, from giant yellow-bellied banana spiders to huntsman spiders as large as human hands. To assess the extent of the spider infestation, ecologist Haldre Rogers and his team surveyed the island's forests. They discovered that Guam's spider population is up to 30 times larger than that of neighboring islands like Rota, Tinian, and Saipan. During the dry season, the spider numbers explode even further, with a density of 2.3 times more spiders than on Guam. Based on their calculations, the total spider population on Guam could range from 508 million to 733 million. The surge in spider numbers is directly linked to the absence of birds on the island. With the loss of native birds, there is little to keep insect populations in check, allowing spiders to thrive. This phenomenon mirrors findings in other regions, such as the Bahamas, where the absence of lizards led to a tenfold increase in spider numbers. For now, it seems unlikely that Guam will be able to rid itself of its invasive snake problem or the resulting spider proliferation. The brown tree snakes and the overwhelming spider populations they support are likely to dominate the island's ecosystems for the foreseeable future. Thank you for watching the video. I hope the above knowledge will help you in life. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel to watch more interesting videos. Goodbye.